Hey guys. So as you may be able to guess, uh, I'm back at camp. Yeah! Um, and so we've been here for about a week now. Uh, it's Sunday, right? Alright, cool, thank you. Uh, it's Sunday, and uh, nothing's really going on today. We did like kind of a mini trunk day because I uh, one week campers left. I don't know, I'm gonna just record uh, what I can of this week. This is a jump cut to Monday, and uh, we don't really do anything today, so I'd like to introduce you to the other work boys, namely, Georges who is, uh, I'm gonna refer to him as Big Daddy for the rest of the video. And Chake, I'm gonna refer to Chake as the rest of the video. <laughs> We're gonna be doing Water Weenie later today, but um, y'all have already seen that, so I'm probably not gonna record it, which means uh, not much else is happening today. So that means it's jump cut to Tuesday. And so uh, our employer, my employer, let me actually record saddling a horse. So if you'll follow me. First, we gotta go get the horse. Well, we're gonna be saddling cornbread right here. Basically what we do is just put the reins over the neck. Twist everything. Pull the bridle. On. Done. Now what we can do is we can bring them over to the saddle, or their saddle. So first we take this blanket and cooling pad, put it on them. Take their saddle, put it on, unfold everything. Do you mind uh, checking that side? That's just to check if anything's tangled. And then grab this called the girth strap, tie it all up. And this tie, and this knot is called the Texas knot. Down here at least, I don't know if you heard me. This knot down here at least is called the Texas T. I know. Uh, in other states, they call it other things. I don't remember because Texas T is the correct one. And basically, it's just over, under, over, under, and then you pull it into a T. Finally, you take the reins off. And we're done. So, uh, tomorrow uh wednesday this is a jump cut to wednesday and you know i kind of want to go say bye to my favorite horses because i mean camp's fine now so there they are out there and uh wait wait hold on cooper it's against the rules to go see the horses after dark nah but dude you're gonna get in trouble they're gonna they're gonna dock your pay dude you're gonna get fired Cooper, the it said the rule says you're hella gay if you see the horses after hours. Uh huh. I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> and now it's Thursday, which, as we all know, is beat the ever living Christ out of Chake Day. That's not my name, please. Oh, well. Good thing it's also throw a giant ass rock at Request Day. Wait, hold up. Did someone say Joe throw a giant ass rock at Request Day? I did. Let's go. Oh, hey. All right. So, uh, Friday now. And while well, I'm relaxing now because we've got a long day ahead of us, let's see. We've got, we've got to move the canoe from the waterfront. We need to move the hay. Uh, we need to clean the cabin, we need to move the horses, we need to... Wait, 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 wait. 
Move the horses. Damn. Yeah, it was a... And finally, Saturday. And you know, the last time I did this, I was all sappy and ugh, I'm not doing that again. Y'all already saw that. So instead of saying bye to camp, we'll say hi to camp. So is this funny enough to put in the video? All right, so uh, I'm gonna take a nap. Oh my God. That's good. Okay, well, not exactly. What ended up happening was that the radiator overheated when we were driving back, which meant that we were kind of stranded there for a little bit until Bowen's sister uh, came and picked us up because she was also working at the camp. She had gotten off a little bit later than we did, though. So, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but you're probably gonna get the sappy ending, because I, uh, I didn't really, I wasn't able to do the bit that I was gonna be planning. Anyways, um, I was thinking a lot on the way home about, you know, just how it was my last year. I wasn't that sad or anything, because, I mean, I've already been sad. That was kind of the first time I left, and uh, looking back on it, that's not really the way I should have, you know, handled the situation. Uh, it's definitely better to look at these kinds of things, these endings, as a good thing. More of a, a chance for new opportunities, and uh, that's kind of the way I'm looking at it now. And I feel as though maybe I should do something a little bit more symbolic around it. So, as you have seen throughout this entire thing, I wear my hat every single day. Without a shadow of a doubt, when I'm down there, I will always have my hat. Except for like that one day, but that was because it was after hours. Anyways, um, it's been with me for the entire time that I've been down there. I've changed my boots, I've changed what I wear, but the hat has always stayed the same. And, you know, it's also definitely seen a lot of other <laughs> great adventures, namely hiking up a mountain, hiking around the cliffside of this giant cliff up in Seattle. I might have to tell that story one time. And, uh, it's seen Washington, D.C. when I went up there for scouting. And... And obviously countless other things that I can't remember right about now, but I've seen a lot, and uh, I was thinking maybe it's time that I, you know, move on, just as though I'm moving on from camp. So I think I'm going to retire it, and uh, yeah, so 